Okay guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about why you should stop chasing love in relationships and why you should do this instead. How's it going, Second Channel Squad? Welcome to my second channel. If you're new here, then uh, make sure you subscribe to the first channel. We teach people how to make money online. But anyways, I digress. I want to talk about something very important because I feel like no one really talks about it in terms of like personal development. And that is the huge correlation that comes with your relationships and the love that you have for other people as well as the love that you actually feel for yourself and how it actually prevents you from actually reaching your ultimate potential. Now, what do I know about this? Okay, so I remember, you know, my entire life, I just constantly chased women. I constantly chased women. Why was that? Because I didn't grow up that confident. I grew up basically a loser, shy. I judged myself all the time. I was so afraid on saying the stupid thing that I remember when I was a little kid, I would write down all of the notes of conversation topics that I could essentially talk to you know someone that I was attracted to and whenever I ran out of things to say at like a party or a gathering I remember I would go to the bathroom and just pull out these little notes and just see which lines of conversation that I could actually talk to you know attract somebody that I was into and that was my entire life you know it, it, my entire life was always looking at people that I was attracted to as if they were all the way up here and I would be so lucky, so lucky if they just gave me a chance or an opportunity to just open up their life so that I could be in it and maybe we could have like an amazing, beautiful relationship. And my entire time in life, it was me chasing women and the approval of women. But then what happened? It completely ruined me. I, I looked deep inside and this is for women to men or men to women or men to men or women, it doesn't matter, whatever floats your boat. Like seriously, when I was a kid, I think it really started uh, in my high school crush. I remember we were together, it was like the most love I felt in this moment. You know, it's like the first love that you feel, it's like the love based out of addiction where you've never known what love feels like, so you kind of base your happiness off of this other person. But the funny thing is, the other person's not as conscious either, and both of you guys kind of turn into this like poisonous soul crushing, you know, dependency on each other where you now depend on the other person for happiness. I thought that's what love was, right? So when we took like a break for a week because we're kids and we're, we're freaking stupid, I found out she was with somebody else in that time and that crushed me. It crushed me. But in that moment, I wanted to chase. You know, I, I, I thought, wow, I can never find another amazing girl just like her. I was so lucky to have her in my life. And it was in that moment that I belittled myself and my potential and what I was actually worth. I was willing to, you know, literally disrespect myself to go back to somebody who didn't really treat me well in that situation in time, right? And it just happened again and again and again. The same thing happened in terms of patterns uh, when I was in college. You know, I, I met this most amazing girl, right? And if you read my book, you could just definitely check it out. Just go on my blog, it's somewhere on there. But I remember meeting this girl that just like threw me head over heels. And we dated for four years. Now the thing is in the beginning, it was amazing, it was fun. It was, it was like that passionate relationship. But what happened later on, because I wasn't very aware of who I was as a man, I kind of let her feminine nature bleed into mine to the point where, you know, what first starts off at masculine and what first starts off at feminine, if you're not very aware of, you know, holding your standard to who you are and who they are and you don't put the boundary and realize that you guys are two different people, you're not d depending on each other, right? You could be co and interdependent. Because I did not have that line and I did not know where that line was, we bled into each other where we slowly depolarized the attraction where at that point, you know, we were basically just like glorified roommates at the end of it, right? It started out very passionate. Oh my God, it was like Vampire Diaries in some epic love romantic movie. But then it just turned into like a regular episode of Friends watching Netflix and just not really having any more excitement and passion and losing the passion that we once felt when we first got started. Now the thing is, Again, because I didn't have much money, I ended up leaving dental school and it was kind of like in this awkward period where she was still in school and I had to go back home with my mom and dad to figure out my life, to figure out, to start like some online business. So for that period of time, we took a break for a summer to just see what would happen. You know, and I went to like a Tony Robbins event. I, I, I did a bunch of personal development. I grew like a business to the point where I didn't have to go back to college. And then when we finally met up again at the end of the summer, she told me that she was with somebody else during this time. 
And like that was just a huge punch to my chest, to my soul. It was like, like I remember when I found that out and it was just like the amount of hurt that I felt, it was like this big knot in my stomach. And like always, I wanted to chase. I was like, no, this girl is the most amazing girl in the world. I, I can't do better than this person. Like, I was so lucky to be with this person. And just like that, I always tend to put the person that I'm with on a pedestal as if I was lucky and that I essentially deep down in the darkest parts of my mind felt like I did not deserve to be with the person that I was with. And this also ruined me again. So then guess what happened? I remember I started drinking, started going out, started learning like dating techniques. And I remember I went to Vegas for 30 months to learn how to just like communicate with women and successful people. And for 30 days, I was going out every single day, chasing love, chasing relationships, chasing approval from other people. But the more I went out, the more unfulfilled and unhappy that I felt. And I was wondering why does it feel like every single time I chase someone, I feel less and 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 less to the point where I don't know who I am anymore. So at that moment in time, like anybody else who was making money online, I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy a one-way trip ticket to Asia and figure my life out because I'm not getting much progress here in this current time period in my life. So there I went. I went out to Asia and that was the thing that completely changed my life forever. It was the moment that I realized, wow, if I don't chase people, I can actually attract people. And it's just this concept that, that I started learning because the thing about success with relationships and the success with love and the success with business is it's all in terms of like energy, right? If you are needy, you will not attract the thing that it is that you want. I remember when I was a kid, I remember I saw a butterfly in like a glass of Coke. Right. And it, I, I was, I was like traveling in the Philippines. My mom and dad brought me to the homeland for a bit. And I saw just like, they have these Coke bottles or Pepsi bottles, but they were in glass. Cause I don't know, like third world country, they, they still use glass bottles instead of plastic bottles. But I saw this, you know, butterfly inside this glass bottle. And I wondered how the hell did that actually happen? Right. So I remember when I was drinking, like, uh, like when I finished with one of like the drinks that I was drinking and I had the glass bottle and I saw a butterfly, I remember I was trying to chase that thing. I was trying to chase that thing and trying to literally catch it with the Coke bottle that I had. But no matter how much I tried chasing this butterfly, it always eluded me. I couldn't actually, you know, get it. But then what happened, you know, I sat it down and I kind of like ran around for like a little bit. And then when I came back, I saw the butterfly kind of like resting on the spout of the actual Coke bottle. And then I realized that, wow, the reason why the butterfly got stuck in the other Coke bottle was because the sweetness that was already inside of it, the little residue that was still there from like the, 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 the soft drink, attracted the butterfly so much to the point where it literally went through the little hole and then ended up getting stuck, right? So that's kind of like, relationships, if you look at that in terms of a metaphor. So many people have this good sweetness inside of them. They all essentially have everything that they need to attract the love of their life, the relationship of their life. But the problem is, same way how I was trying to catch the butterfly with this thing that would normally attract the butterfly because the sweetness was inside, because I was going everything by force and trying to run after it, guess what? The butterfly got scared and ran away even though the thing that the butterfly wants the most is actually what was I was trying to use to catch it with. And it's the exact same thing with many of you guys right now. You guys are trying to chase somebody or something or happiness outside of yourself when little do you know that all of that is actually inside of you. And for you to actually attract the thing that it is that you want, you need to ask yourself, what will that person give me? What emotion am I really depending to feel when I'm with that person? Now, the moment you know that, just feel that emotion. It's the exact same way how instead of chasing with the glass to understand that the sweetness was already inside it, the residue of the Pepsi or the Coke was inside of it, if I just stayed there and understood that, okay, I got some sweetness inside of me, the butterfly will end up coming in. And that's what no one really realizes is same way like how you go to the bar and someone's needed to try to talk to you, you kind of like get turned off about it. Money, success, and love do not like the needy energy. 
And the thing is, you already have all the things that you need to attract the love of your life or the success or the whatever because it doesn't really matter, right? It's the end result that we're all looking for. It can either be love, money, success, happiness. The problem that no one realizes it is the more needy you are, the less likely you will attract your goals. You gotta stop putting your goals and women or men on a pedestal because the moment they are on a pedestal and you think you're down here, you're already at a losing battle. The only way to win is to see exactly what you want at eye level and to realize, okay, who do I need to become to then attract this person that I want? And that was like one little shift that really changed everything about me. I remember when I started realizing this, I, I heard this quote because I literally binged on all of the videos just like this. And there's this one quote that I, I forgot who said it. It was like probably some random like dating guru or whatever because I went down this like spiral of just looking at all of these people that were teaching confidence with women and stuff like that. And it was a quote that completely made me realize who I need to become. And that is, you only deserve the highest level of woman, in my case, it could be a man in your case, you only deserve the highest level of woman that you are willing to lose. Now think about that. If you're a woman, you only deserve the highest level of man that you are willing to lose. Because the problem is the moment you think that you are destroyed when you lose somebody, then deep down subconsciously you felt like you never actually really deserved them. But if you are really able to just let them go and you know that, okay, what inside me was it? Was it even me? Was it even them? That's when you start realizing exactly how much you are worth and how much you are valued. And, and that's, I think, one of the biggest questions and realizations that I've learned is I've just learned that, you know, people come in my life, they leave. People can have a really amazing lifetime of a passion, but some people can come into your life just for like a quick season, right? And I think the more that I travel and the more that I meet people and the more that, you know, people come into my life and the more people leave out of my, my life, the more I start to realize that who I am and the level of value that I see myself and the identity and the self-image that is in the back of my mind when I close my eyes is only to the extent to the people that I'm not worried about losing. Other than, of course, like my mom and dad and my sister, okay? That's like blood, okay? So I'm worried about losing them. And I'm also talking about not allowing people to die, right? I'm just talking about if you are in a loving relationship, a passionate relationship with somebody, or you want to be, how afraid are you in losing them? Because the more afraid you are in losing them, the more likely you never deserve them in the first place. This was the weirdest mind mess up to me. Because I remember, for example, you know, uh, the partner that I was with right now, I remember when I first saw her, initially before we got together, uh, it was the first time that I moved here to Bali and I saw her and I was like, oh my God, this is literally the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Russian, stoic face, very deep in a personal development. And I remember going out on a dinner with her and I was like, this girl is so perfect. I'm afraid of losing her. So just because I'm afraid of losing her and I don't want her to leave me, then I'm never actually going to initiate this in the first place. And I just ran away and self-sabotaged it because I freaked out because I was like, I put her on a pedestal, right? And it literally took me, like, it was so funny. Now we're together and she was like, why did you just disappear for a year? We really had a lot of time at that dinner. And then I thought we were going to, you know, hang out and stuff, but then you just disappeared. That's because it was in that moment that I realized that I put her on a pedestal. And had we have been together, I told her, I was like, baby, if we were together, I was not the man that, you know, would be able to keep a woman like you. I just told her straight up, I was not the type of man. Because I had all of these like mommy and daddy issues in the back of my mind. I had all these internal demons and limiting beliefs that was like preventing me from actually becoming the man that I wanted. And even though like financially, or success wise or the identity or the perception of what it looked like, how good my life was, seemed great on social media or Instagram. But deep down when you know I was just by myself, I realized I wasn't that confident. I realized I wasn't, you know, that certain or that charismatic. And and I was always afraid that if I was with somebody that I was afraid of losing, she would see through my cracks and realize just what a scared little kid I actually am. 
And because of that, I was like, oh, frick. I just like ran away. And I was telling her, I was like, baby, if we were together, if we were together in that moment, I think I would have been maybe too needy and then I would have lost you. And then this beautiful relationship that we have right now where we have tantric conversations, where we travel around the world, when we experience a lot of amazing intimate experiences, it would have never happened because I was never the man that I needed to be to attract somebody like you. And the craziest thing is she told me the exact same thing. She was like, yeah, I think it was meant to be because in that moment I was so much into my masculine in my business that I actually don't think that I would have been able to keep a man like you. Which was funny because I told her my insecurities, she told me her insecurities, and then I realized that, wow, men and women both have the same insecurities. It's just that we think that the other person is like impervious to insecurities. But the thing is, that thing that you love the most, that person that you think is way out of your league, the thing that you want to chase, the love or the romance that you want to chase, they eat, sleep, poop, and cry just like you. They have things about them that they are so embarrassed about that you don't want to know. They still get really excited for Christmas when they were a little kid and they probably had a snot and a bunch of like around their face when they were like five years old. Everyone is human, so why should you put somebody else on a pedestal? And the moment you start understanding this concept and you just realize that, wow, I don't ever have to chase this. I could just kind of work on myself and see who I can attract by the person that I am. That's when life just gets so much easier. Like now, I don't really like chase anything or anyone and and I think I do so more in business right more so in my loving relationships because now you know it's kind of like I focus on my business then I realize I'm unhappy in my relationships but then I focus on my relationships too much then I was like okay I gotta focus on business so it's like we're spinning a bunch of plates on all these things right but when it comes in terms of business I feel the exact same way when I'm chasing money when I'm chasing money when I'm chasing money the money eludes me like a butterfly because money feels neediness same way how a woman or a man feels your neediness. And the less needy you feel, the more attractive you become to success, to love, to happiness, to romance, guys. So what are your thoughts on this? Comment below. And I will see you guys on the next video. Make sure you just subscribe. And by the way, if you guys want to learn more stuff, check out the trainings below. Peace out.